Hi guys, Rick Damon with Cowtown USA here in Cuba, Missouri. Here with the 2016 eight wide charger, all aluminum charger, aluminum floor frame, even under the living quarters, aluminum. Dual hydraulic jacks, 14 ply radial tires, aluminum wheels, dual batteries, dual propane with a slide. It's in a metallic charcoal with a stainless steel nose, a power awning with what they call a weather shield. I'll show you up here. All that does is protect the vinyl when it's tucked in, which is tucked in 99.9% .9 of the time, so it's protected. A step in front of, the, in front of, your, uh, of your living corridor door with the screen. You have a really nice uh, awning with 110 plug-in out here, so you can put a box fan or some type of cooker out here. Now, for, for, for huge ventilation, you can see here, the interior of the trailer is fully insulated with roof vents and you have the massive openings here as far as ventilation on the butt side and in fact I'll show you all the way through. That's with the drop down doors on the other side so you have ventilation here as close to a stock trailer as you could possibly get. Your armor plating and your tie horse here. This armor plating is much much better than just your raw aluminum. Or your thin aluminum. One key fits the entire trailer. Okay, I'll open the door here. We'll look through here. There's your stud divider. You can use that front stall, either put a stallion in, or if you want to put your hay and your bedding and water buckets, you can do that and use it for a separate stall. You're fully, fully padded, fully lined. Your walls are in excellent shape. I mean the trailer is a trailer interior is very nice. They've added the, and so much of this what we're talking about is an addition. You know these are these are options on this trailer. You got a full step here, so you can step in here to the saddle racks and actually look down on them instead of trying to throw them over your head. Your mold resistant lining. I mean this has had bridle hook or bridles hanging in it. You cannot tell that because of the covering. Okay, now you're collapsible. You pull a pin there, you pull a pin here, and this wall folds over here. Saddle racks are not only removable, which you can see here, but they are also um, adjustable, which you can see there. Okay, now you have swing up bridle or swing up blanket bars. And a brush tray here on the rear door. I'll step back here. You can see that. Load lights up here on top. LED. Bring it around on this side. Again, 14 ply radial tires, aluminum wheels. Uh, there's your mangers, your drop down doors here, your face bars. So you can actually drive down the road here and get the extra ventilation in there. Okay, you have a full escape door here. Now here's the deal here. You're able to use this like your back door at your house. So you go in here, kick your clothes off, your muddy boots here, and then go into your living quarters. All right. Close the door behind you and lock it. Then when you're going down the road, you have one key. Swing this around. One hand and lock it, and then you have a step here that'll fold up as well. Fold that up. Notice it also has grease fittings. Fold that up, spin it around here, lock that down. Again, we'll have the armor plating on it. Here's your 110 landline, hooks up right here. Okay, your sewer outlet, sewer outlet here, it has gray and black water in one uh, outlet here. So it's you run your, your black water through there and then you release your gray water behind it and your gray water tends to clean out where your black water run through. Okay, now here's your city water connection, which a lot of folks are going to know what I'm talking about, some don't. City water, you, you, you put hook up with your water holes and it runs, runs there at the campground. Now some of these don't have this, so you haul your water, especially I'd advise you guys that are, that are watering your horses out of this to haul your water, because I've had horses with me before that would not, would not drink, uh, because they didn't like the the difference in the water. Okay, now I'm going to take you on the inside here. 
Uh, this has got a really pretty interior. It's all done in hickory. It's not a same old, same old deal. The floor is like it's bleached out, or bleached, I should say. Now, you see right here, you have storage under your horseshoe dinette. That's, we talk about options. This is another option in this trailer. Doors here, doors there, and the, and the horseshoe dinette. Okay, let's spin around here. You have hanging closet and the optional table. Storage, storage, flat screen TV. This particular one has the bigger refrigerator in it. It's a 6 -0. You have a freezer on the top and a nice fridge on the bottom. Operates that simply. That's how it works. Here's one thing that really stands out, and I get this from a lot of folks. Look at the depth of the steps on this camper. I mean, it's it's huge. So coming out of that bed, you can't miss the steps. They're good and wide. Okay, and the older I get, the better I like that. Okay, now let's swing around here. All right, here again is another option. You have your gas uh, propane or your propane uh, oven and your recessed countertop for your for your cooktop here. Okay, your microwave, which is standard, and your and your hood. It's all standard there, except for your recessed and your oven. That's another upgrade. Your cutting board. Dual sinks. Right, they've already added a place here for your paper towels. Okay, so I'm going to bring in here to the restroom. Okay, they've upgraded the stool. Okay, frosted glass in here. Okay, now let me show you this because this is a big deal. I go with the stories because I hear so much about it. Another hanging closet. Come in here. Another hanging closet. Oh, and you can use it as a is a hamper for your dirty clothes. So you eat more and more and more. When is more too much? I don't see that as far as storage in these in the camper part of these trailers. Has a vanity. A lot of people like them having vanities. So this has got one. I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna show you the inside of that door we were talking about. Right here. You can deadbolt it. I mean and the advantage of this guys is is you come in and you're at a campground and Three o'clock in the morning, they come and say, "Hey, your horse is loose. Uh, you're not trying to find your wet, and muddy clothes out here, and because you know where they're at, you know exactly where they're at." Okay. Now here's another upgrade on this. Is you got three switches here. Okay. That one. That one. And this one. Okay. It's, now what that did is it turned on your LED lighting in the horse compartment with that switch. So you got your wet and muddy clothes out here. You're not trying to find a flashlight to find out where those boots and stuff are at. So again, they come and tell you you get a, you get a horse loose. There you go guys. You, everything is in position so you can you can do what you need to do quickly and safely. Uh, this camper, horse trailer has been serviced. It's ready to go. It's a 2016 model with a huge savings on it. You know, hear people all the time say, well, I don't want to take that first hit. Well, here's what you're looking for then. This is something you can pull a three-quarter ton truck with no problem. Here's how easy the the uh, slide out. You push your slide out, push it in, and you can see it move here. That's how simple this is to work. It'll come in as far as it'll come in, and I'll show you that. And then it will it'll shut itself down. There's no guesswork with it. Nice deep slide out too. You can see here the depth of that. You can set five or six people at that slide out. Okay. Turn the lights off here. Light switch right here. Turn the light switches off here. You got a switch here. There's also a switch. Uh, underneath neck that kills all the interior lights. I didn't mention this, but this is a it's got your optional ducted AC as well So your hickory interior your backsplash has been upgraded here I mean a trailer that you know you, you can buy those trailers that they have they built it's got a, a new title on it, but it's uh, 
as far as options, got very little options on it. And everybody, you know, they everybody wants to wants the better package. I need to push this awning in too. Okay, now what I did is I turned that switch off. You have to have the switch on. Pretty simple to do. Okay. And that gives you the power from the awning. Okay. Alright. That rolls your awning in. So give us a call at Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri. Cowtown USA, Cuba, Missouri, 573-885-6300. Thank you.